Why does a pen need tipping material? And why is rhodium such a common material for that task? All right, so first, Mark, I'm gonna give a little bit of clarification for you. Rhodium is not actually the tipping material. Rhodium is a plating that's used on the nibs to make them a silver color. Um, so for example, when you have your typical nib, right? Um, I have this Pelican M800. So this Pelican pen has gold and it also has this non-gold color. Well, the nib itself is gold. It's 18 karat gold and uh, it's a yellow gold. So anything that's not yellow gold has some kind of plating that's over top of the yellow gold. So all the silver parts you see here, that's rhodium. That's a rhodium plating. It's an electro plating that's done on top of the gold to make it a silver color. That's what's going on with rhodium. Now, what I think you're trying to get at is the tipping material right here. That's called iridium. So it's a different type of metal, um, but similar kind of name, so I can completely understand. I'm not gonna pick on you too much for, uh, for that distinction, but it is important that I make that distinction. So rhodium is the plating that makes it silver. Iridium is the tipping material that is put on the top. And the reason that you have a tipping material, it's technically not pure iridium. It's usually an iridium alloy or some alloy that maybe even doesn't have iridium or has just a tiny bit of it. But that's what's just very commonly been used in the past, uh, iridium. It's a very, very hard wearing metal. It's harder than gold uh, and harder than stainless steel even. So that's why you see even a lot of stainless steel nibs will have the tipping material on it. Um, some nib, very few nibs don't have tipping material. Typically the only ones you don't see tipping material is stub or italic nibs in a stainless steel because the tip is so broad that it's not gonna wear that hard um, like it would. It still last years and years and years and they do it for cost saving reasons. But um, typically when you see gold nibs, it's almost always gonna have tipping material on it. Um, so um, the reason they do that is because it's harder wearing. Basically, if you think about it, like when you're writing uh, um, a pen on paper, paper, feels smooth to your fingers, but if you look microscopically at it, it's it's very kind of rough and textured and it's, it's a very, very, very fine abrasive. So over time, as you're writing, it creates friction and it's gonna wear down the metal of your nib. Now it takes a very long time, but it is, eventually that's what's going to happen. So by putting a harder wearing metal on the tip, that is going to allow it to last longer before it's all worn out. Now, I mean, it, literally it could take decades of heavy writing to see wear on something like an iridium tip. But if it wasn't tipped and you had say stainless steel, it might be three years or five years or something like that, which, you know, it's not the end of the world, but if you have a pen that you paid a little bit of money for and you don't want it to show wear after a few years um, and gold will wear even faster than that um, because gold is softer than stainless steel. So um, that said, uh, that's pretty much the reason why they do tipping materials to make the nib last longer because of the abrasive that that paper um, ends up doing.